Hey, Credit Warriors, welcome to the show. And yes, Expedia Group just launched its new loyalty program called OneKey. This program lets you earn points and rewards on Expedia Group's three sites, Expedia.com, Hotels.com, and VRBO. And this makes VRBO the first and only short-term rental site to have a loyalty program. Hi, I'm Ben Hedges. I make videos on credit cards, personal finance, and luxury travel. If you like the sound of that, why not subscribe on YouTube? You can also follow me on the other micro content sites like TikTok, Instagram, etc. All my usernames and handles are on screen now. You can also get yourself up to 12 free stocks for opening a brokerage account and depositing any amount of money with the online brokerage app Webull. Link for that deal is below. So let's get started. Expedia has launched OneKey. It is only available in the US right now, but will launch globally in 2024. You can now earn OneKey Cash, their points currency, on all three sites, Expedia.com, Hotels.com, and VRBO. Points are worth one cent per point, and if you had an account with all three sites using the same email, your accounts will automatically merge into one, thus pooling all your points. If you use different emails for each site, what you need to do is go into each one and, well, First decide which email you're gonna use for all of them and then go into two of them and change your email in the settings so that all three sites have the same email and then they will automatically merge together. Now the earnings rate that you will earn the new one key cash at when you book through any of these three sites is 2%, okay, or two points per dollar. That is on all bookings, so hotels, car rentals, etc., except for flights. On flights on Expedia.com, you will only earn at 0.2% back, okay? So that's, that's not very much. I wouldn't recommend using it for flights. But the cool thing about this loyalty program is, and we will talk about the negatives in just a moment, but the cool thing is that you can move up through the status tiers by combining different trip elements. And by trip elements, we mean, say, a hotel, a VRBO, a car rental, a flight, etc. As long as you book through one of Expedia's sites, all those different types of things will count towards moving you up through status. Contrast that with moving up through the status tiers with Hilton Hotels, for example, it would only be nights stayed at Hilton Hotels that would count to moving you up through status. Your car rental or your flight or your short-term rental wouldn't count. There are four levels of status in the One Key program. You've got blue, silver, gold, and platinum. Blue is just a regular member. Then once you accumulate five or more trip elements, you move up to silver. 15 or more, you move to gold. And 30 or more, you move to platinum. I don't know why they're using the color black for platinum. <laughs> I don't know. So in terms of benefits, uh, just being a basic blue member saves you 10% on select hotels booked through Expedia. So if you're going to book through Expedia or any of these sites at all, you might as well become a member. And that percentage then increases as you move up through the program. The amount of one key cash you earn increases too. So as a blue member, you just earn 2% on everything and 0.2% on flights. But as a silver member, it's going to be 50% more. And as a gold member, it's going to be 2x, two times. And as a platinum member, it's going to be 3x. So you would be earning 6% back. And you then start getting extra VIP benefits at Expedia's VIP access properties as you move up too. And this VIP access program is similar to the hotel programs on many popular credit cards like the Amex Fine Hotels and Resorts collection. Chase has its own collection. I think Capital One just launched a collection as well. Some of the hotels in the program do look really good, like Overwater Villas in the Maldives. You have Beach resorts in Cancun, high-end hotels in New York City and other cities, etc. I'll put a link to the program in a pinned comment below so that you guys can check it out. And if you book one of these properties and you have status with the One Key program, you'll get things like room upgrades, dining credits, etc. And the benefits get better as you move up the tiers. And this is great since you could get extra benefits at multiple different hotel chains even though you don't have status with any one of them. Another cool thing with Expedia Group, and this isn't really directly connected to the loyalty program, but the shopping portal Rakuten lets you get 10% back or 10 Amex points back uh, when you click through their site to either Expedia or Hotels.com. And you can also get $20 cash back when you book a VRBO if you click through Rakuten as well. And guys, if you don't have Rakuten already, it's a site that lets you earn extra cashback or extra Amex points, whatever you choose, on thousands of popular retailers. So I do recommend signing up for it um, if you're into the whole credit card rewards or cashback game. You can actually get 
$30 bonus cashback or 3,000 Amex points, whatever you choose. Again, you can redeem for either uh, when you sign up using my link and making your first purchase. So if you are interested in that, my link is below. So that is the good side of the new Expedia Rewards program. Let's now look at the bad side, and then I'll tell you who might benefit from using OneKey. So the new program merges Expedia, Hotels.com, and VRBO into one rewards program. Now, that's great for VRBO since it didn't have a rewards program to begin with, but it's not so good for Hotels.com. Since it ends Hotels.com's very popular Stay 10 Nights, Get One Free program that a lot of people really liked. Thrifty Traveler points out the stark difference that this new program makes. Booking 10 hotel nights at $100 a piece through the previous Hotels.com program would get you a free night worth up to $100. Under the new one key program, the same 10 nights at $100 per night would net you just $20 in rewards. So that's an 80% decrease in the value of the rewards when booking through Hotels.com. Now, obviously, there are a few other uh, things to consider. So if you move up through the tier status um, with, you know, the new one key program, Actually, you won't be getting 2%. You'd be getting, let's say, if you're platinum, you're getting 3x. So you'd be getting 6%. So that actually would be uh, $60 in rewards. It's still not as good. But hey, there are other benefits that might make up some, you know, some of the value elsewhere. So it may not be as terrible as it sounds at first uh, glance. But I think the Hotels.com program has definitely been probably made less valuable with one key. Maybe if you're platinum, you might be able to equalize it, but, you know, probably not. Let's now point out another thing as well. Uh, then this is just in general. This is whether you actually want to use this program or not. But when you book through Expedia or other um, online portals, hotels generally do not recognize your hotel status, all right, if you have status in that chain. And I found out the hard way with this. I was sitting on Marriott Gold status. I went to the W Hotel in Washington, D.C. I booked it through Expedia. In fact, I'd booked one night through American Express and I booked the other night because uh, I, I stayed one night and then I wanted to extend it or right? I didn't want to go home. I was having such a great time. I don't know why. But anyway, I booked my second night through Chase, which codes as Expedia. And on neither night did they recognize my Marriott Gold status. And that was really annoying because I got put in a horrible dark room that had windows that didn't look out onto the street. They instead looked out into the well of the building. It was really not that great an experience. So I generally avoid booking through Expedia um, for that reason, especially with Marriott. So who would this new program be good for? Well, I would say that it's going to be good for people who are not loyal to any one hotel brand and also like to switch up between staying at hotels and staying at short-term rentals while still earning the same points that they can then pool together. It's also good for people who do a lot of car rentals since you can book car rentals through Expedia and earn the same points currency on those too. I wouldn't recommend this loyalty program for flights don't book flights through Expedia since many credit cards, if you book directly with the airline, they will give you way more points. Like airline co-branded cards will give you a good amount of points if you book directly with an airline. Also, the Amex Platinum gives you five points per dollar on flights booked directly with airlines. So that's a way better deal than booking through Expedia at 0.2% back on flights. I'm also going to say it's going to benefit high-end travelers who are not loyal to any one brand since they're more likely to book through the VIP access collection and stay at those higher-end properties. However, you will have to weigh up the value you get from that. It depends on which status level you are. You have to weigh up the value you get versus the Amex FHR collection, the Chase you know, hotel collection or the Capital One hotel collection. But I don't think that this new program has any one element that really stands out as like a kick-ass feature, all right? At least not like the Hotels.com Stay 10, Get One Free did. That's such a big, bold, simple benefit that, you know, everyone can really easily understand. It's just like a punch card where you like buy 10 drinks and, the, you know, you buy 10 coffees at Starbucks and then the 11th one is free. It's the same kind of deal. But I do think that there will be people who get a lot of value out of this um, especially if you use one or all three of Expedia's sites. Basically, the more of Expedia Group's services you use, the more this program is going to start to make sense for you because you can combine different trip elements, so car rental, hotel stay, short-term rental stay, to move you up through status, which you can't do with any other program. All right, guys, that is the video for today. Do tell me your opinion of this program. 
in the comments below. And don't forget, you can get up to 12 free stocks when you open a new brokerage account and deposit any amount of money with the online brokerage Weeble. Link for that is below. Also below, I will put a link to Rakuten. If you use Expedia or Hotels.com or VRBO or any other common retailer actually for that matter stores like Saks Fifth Avenue Macy's etc chances are you will be able to get extra cashback or extra Amex points if you first go to Rakuten before and then click through uh, to their site and you can get a free $30 cashback or extra 3000 Amex points when you sign up through my link below and make your first purchase so link for that is below as well thank you very much for watching guys please subscribe if you're new I'll see you next time bye bye